Today, we're joined by our marketing executive, Chloe. Chloe is a member of the LGBT community, and we're going to discuss a topic which is very important to Chloe and Create Finance. Fighting LGBTQ homelessness and how LGBT first-time buyers can get onto the property ladder. Chloe, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Could you talk a bit more about the LGBT community in the UK? Absolutely. So as of 2022, research has shown that 1.8 million people have identified as gay, lesbian or bisexual. And research from Stonewall has shown that one in five LGBT people have experienced homelessness at least one point in their life. Oh, can I ask why that may be? Absolutely. So a lot of LGBT people, when they come out or they let their families know that they are part of the LGBT community, do actually get asked to leave their home. They face abuse or they mm. face rejection. So I suppose then it makes it difficult then for them to potentially get a bank account um, credit potentially as well, which can ultimately then lead to them not building a profile in order for them to save deposits and then potentially get a mortgage in the future. And with 56% of first time buyers in general having to lean on family members to be able to afford a property, this mm. makes it even more difficult for the LGBT community to actually afford to. Mm. I agree with that one because bank and mum and dad is probably one of the biggest deposit contributors in the UK for first time buyers. So we discussed homelessness. Is there anything else that the LGBT community faces currently? So they're more likely to face discrimination from estate agents, solicitors, housing advisors, purely for being a part of the LGBT community. One in four trans people have actually faced discrimination when trying to buy a property. Due to such issues, it's very important then that the LGBT community gets the right support so they can get onto the property ladder. Now we'll be answering some questions around getting onto the property ladder, being an LGBT community member. So Gindi, what can LGBTQ people do to afford a housing deposit? So Chloe, what I'll do is I'll be looking at what government help is available. So the government have a lifetime ISA available. With a lifetime ISA, the more you contribute, you effectively get a bonus and that can be used as a deposit towards a purchase. Also, there are some specialist home buying schemes available. So for example, you have deposit unlock, which is effectively buying a new build property with a 5% deposit. And that 5% deposit can come from the lifetime ISA. So how can working with a mortgage broker help an LGBTQ client secure a property more effectively? Okay, so with working with a broker versus going to your bank, the broker will have access to a large number of home buying schemes, but not only that, they'll have access to a large number of lenders. So effectively, if your credit has been impaired previously and you've been declined by a bank, a broker can have access to over a hundred different lenders. Not only that, if you are rejected by your bank, effectively, you don't know where to turn to. A broker will have access to over a hundred different products. So if you do have some impaired credit in the past, so for example, it might be a CCJ, it could have been default, late payments, your broker can have access to specialist lenders which allow you to get onto the property ladder. It's also important, Chloe, that the individual is speaking to the right brokerage. Now, what I mean by the right brokerage is, is check out the core values of the brokerage. Does it align with the individual? We've talked about the discrimination that the LGBT community has to go through, which I believe is absolutely appalling. But not all firms are like that. And I can guarantee you that Create Finance do not have any discriminatory beliefs whatsoever. That's wonderful to hear. So what advice would you give to an LGBT first time buyer on finding a property? Well, firstly, I would say identify the area that you are looking to buy, but make sure it's a safe and friendly neighborhood for you. I would do this by asking estate agents. Don't limit yourself just to asking one estate agent. Ask multiple estate agents because that estate agent could be looking to blog you a property. So do ask around for opinions, but not only that, Go and visit the neighbourhood as well. Get a feel for the area. Once you've done that, get in contact with a broker and a broker will be able to go through some mortgage options with you. Thank you. I'll definitely be using those tips. So what can LGBT first time buyers do to help their application further? Chloe, on that, the most important aspect of getting the mortgage is how your credit report looks. So the lenders will credit search or credit score you. My advice would be 
send it across to a broker, let the broker review it for you and they'll be able to give you the right options you've got available. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Gindy. So there we go. We've caused some very, very important issues today, especially for LGBT community and how they can get onto the property ladder. Chloe, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Please check out our other videos on getting a mortgage.